video I've been meaning to do for a while of me uh, Honda Cross Tourer. Um, I'm hoping to get a GoPro soon, so you'll um, I'll do a lot more footage with it. Um, out and about riding. Um, it's the Honda Cross Tourer Highlander version. I've had it now for about six, seven months and done about eight, seven, eight thousand miles on it. Done a couple of long trips, did a quick trip down to France a few months ago, but absolutely love the bike. Um, love the engine, love the handling. Uh, I have got the panniers and top box, although I've just taken them off for now. Um, as you can see, I've got it in red, got the engine running. Um, a few extra mod cons, I've got a USB on it. I've got the spotlights, which you've probably just seen at the front. It's got the traction control, etc. But absolutely everything I wanted in a bike. I did have the cross runner before I bought this one, to be honest. Um, but just fancied something with a bit more power. Yeah, it's quite heavy, but to be perfectly honest with you, it doesn't bother me. Once you get going, as long as you're careful at low speeds, don't seem to have any problems with it at all. Um, all in all, it's just my dream bike, really. Just hoping to get a bit more footage of it. Um, as I say, out and about soon over, you know, it's going for winter now, but hopefully over the next six months or so I'll do a lot of footage and post quite a few of them on YouTube as well for people to see, to see what you think of um, just my reviews of the, uh, the Cross Tour and how it runs. I think all in all, a really good looking bike, really, really happy with it, really powerful, loads of torque, loads of low end torque, loads of top end speed. It'll cruise happily at 80, 90 mile an hour with all my luggage on, no problems whatsoever. Um, recently just had to change, I don't know if anyone else has had to do this, a Givy spotlight bulb. As you can see, the one as we're looking at it to the left, it's just brighter because I put a new bulb in that one, I need to change the one on the right really as well. But actually changing them, the spotlights, it's not straightforward. Um, it takes a bit of rewiring really to get it all done. Um, Apart from putting the USB charge on, actually, I've actually done no modifications to the bike at all. It's pretty much how I got it. Um, the screen is adjustable, but it's a Givy extra screen. I know a lot of people say the standard one that comes is a bit low. To be honest with you, I've never ridden one with, with that screen on it. Um, this is the one that was on it when I uh, bought it. Although it has got an option, if you can see, to, to raise it another level as well. Actually, inside, you can actually bring it up show you around there there is an option to bring it up again another level so I might well do that if I do a really long day really bad weather you know a bit of extra comfort a bit more protection on the screen but all in all just a brilliant all-round bike I commute on it daily as well so I probably do get it on for 10,000 miles a year so all in all I think the perfect bike for, for what I use it for anyway I'll do some more footage once I've got me a GoPro around about Christmas time um, and I go around in a bit more detail and do one of all the equipment and stuff that I use and put on it, show you with the top boxes, etc, etc. Alright, cheers. Bye.